and I've had some hills to climb, but I'm going to stick with God. The promise is for people that can say, yes, I've been struggled. I've had to struggle to make ends meet, but I'm going to stick with God. The, the promise, is there anybody in this house that can show enough testify that life for me ain't been no crystal staff? I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to trust the Lord. I'm going to stick with the Lord. I know it ain't been easy. But, 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 but you hear and, and, and trust me when I tell you, God sees that you're here. God sees that you're sticking with him, that you're trusting him. And God's promise has no expiration date. If God promised it and you asked him for it, just stick with God. These promises. I'm going to look at verse 3. Because verse 3 says something. It says, he shall deliver you from the snares of the enemy. Anybody got any enemies? <laughs> Anybody got any enemies? Huh? Mm. Well, th this verse says, he shall deliver you from the snares of the enemy. Of the enemy. What that means is, uh, Vivian, that means that God will literally snatch you out of the jaws of the enemy. He, 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 he will snatch you out of the adversary's trap. I, I'm, I'm talking, and this, this is a promise. This is a promise. He said, I, I'll remove you from a situation that is not good for you. That's a promise that God is making to you. I will remove folk from around you that don't mean. He says, I will remove you from the adversary. Mm. What God is saying is that he realizes that in this life you're going to have trials and tribulations. He says, I know you're going to be in some predicaments, but this verse tells us that God will remove you out of that predicament. And I look at this text even once again. And in verse 9 it says, If you say the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling. It means that you live for God. And God lives in you. It means that you live holy. If you live righteously. God says I promise you watch this. No harm will overtake you. I promise you that no disaster will come near you. As a matter of fact. I will command, oh, you're going to like this. I will command the angels concerning you. In other words, God is saying, I'm crazy about you. Ooh, anybody ever told you that? Huh? Oh, oh, oh I ain't talking about you, boo. Anybody ever? That? God says, I'm crazy about you. Can you look at this thing? God says, I'll put you in the angels' Hands. That, 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 that means that no harm will come to you. Can you see yourself wrapped up in the hands of an angel that God has dispatched? That's a promise, church, that God has given us. He says, I will command the angels to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands. So that if you are about to stomp your feet, you won't have to worry about that. Why? Because you are in the angel's hands. And as I close, verse 15 and 16, and Sister Lori made it clear. He says, you can call on me and I'll answer you. That's a promise. And here is the ultimate promise. He says, I'll be with you when you're in trouble. How many friends you got that will, will, will be with you in your trouble? That's why the Bible says he is a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. God says, I'll be with you in trouble. We know that sometimes when we get in trouble, 
Friends will flee. But God says, I'll be with you even in trouble. And then God messed me all the way up. Now, he, he, he really messed me up with this because he says, I will deliver you out of the trouble and bestow honor upon you. Now, that messed me up right there because I'm trying to figure out I was in trouble and, and God delivered me out of the trouble and then what does he mean by he'll then bestow honor upon me now now, now correct me if i'm wrong that it, 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 it's enough i'm satisfied that he just got me out of the trouble but then he said that ain't enough so that i can show people who you belong to i must bestow honor upon you everybody's gonna know who you belong to that God 